All right, guys, I'm finally gonna do a walk around of the, the Jackson Crack, and it's the kayak I've been using for the past year, and I've had a couple requests to do so, so here we go. Um, starting the back, here's the rudder right here. I bought this extra, and I'm glad I did, because this boat is a pain when the, when the winds are blowing real hard. It's a real pain to keep it pointed where you're going, so this thing right here is probably about 250 bucks, I think. Well worth the money, keeps you going straight. Um, pretty easy to install There's a little pull cord attached to here up front and the second you uh, Pull it the rudder pops down and into the water. It's real nice, and then all you got to do is pull the cord it Comes right back up. I'll show you when we get up there So then we got the uh, the back catch right here. I don't really ever use this for anything um, Like I guess camping trips would be about it, but it's a good access point if you want to mount stuff on the deck or whatnot, but really don't really use it. Um, so moving back up here, this right here is the K crate. Came with the uh, the Jackson, and we got this Yak Attack gear track right here and a little hole right here. So you can use um, I use Ram balls, but this is what what came with the boat right here. You just slide them in, you can lock it on. So whatever you got in there, bait, fishing gear, ice, you name it, you're not gonna lose it. But yeah, it's, uh, opens right up. I have mine set up as a live well. It's got three rod holders on the back. Um, there's so many, so many options you can do with this thing. All right, up next here's the tackle box. Comes with the, the Kraken when you buy it. A little tray right here for quick access stuff and then this is just empty inside you can fit a couple plano boxes i usually put my cell phone keys wallet in there and it's a pretty safe spot it stays dry and you can also lock this down on this gear track right here so uh this boat was made for offshore so in in the event that you'd uh, flip over in the surf or whatnot you're not going to lose anything all you got to really do is worry about lashing your fishing poles down and uh crap that should be about it yeah um also comes with these uh two ram tough tubes um they come out really easy you can i can't really do it with one hand but you can angle this 360 degrees angle this whichever way you want um i use them for trolling a lot just angled right off the back of the boat and uh actually this one right here i use i put the camera in there I might do another video on how I have my camera mounted later, but yep. And then each side you got the flush mount rod holder. So what do I got? Three, four, five, six, seven. I could have seven rods on here if I want. I've never brought seven. I usually bring four, but if I wanted to bring seven, there you go. So uh, moving on up is the seat right here. Really comfortable. My last kayak was kind of like a one of those little fabric -y seats where your butt gets all wet after the first 10 minutes of fishing. This one butts off the ground. You got the lumbar support right here, adjustable. And then you can do it in one, two, three, four, five, six, six different uh, positions. Jackson markets this as a, uh, what do they call it? They say you can trim your boat up or down with it. Uh, that might be true for the heftier guy but me at 150 pounds it don't matter where I put the seat the boat sits the same in the water um, and another cool thing about the Kraken I'll take my uh, wheels off real quick seat lashes down uh, let's take the seat out this scupper hole under the seat fits a, a tsunami bait pump. And I had it set up at one time, but when I went to Pompano Beach, I kind of messed everything up. So I got to redo it. I have the wires coming back under here. And I had a uh, some piping coming up here, went kind of around the tackle box. And I don't know if you can see, it fed into right there. And it pumped fresh water. And I had a hose coming off of here and it just circulated. Um, fresh water the entire time. I never had a problem with bait dying ever. So I need to get that fixed. Um, but 
this is what I was talking about right here the anchor anchor or the excuse me the uh, rudder you pull this and it shoots back and your anchor pops down uh, what else we got up here a little paddle holder right there and then we got this front hatch right here we got gear track on it this is plastic gear track I've seen people replace it with uh, the metal ones make it more rigid I might do that later uh, I don't really mount anything on here except my fish finder right here. Uh, we got the little light. comes in handy at night time. It's not really a navigational light, but it comes in handy at night to tie uh, new lures or hooks on or whatnot. So this buckles down. Everything in this kayak is safe if you uh, flip over. But this buckles down and opens up to a nice little tray in here. Usually if I'm offshore fishing, I just take this tray and leave it at the house and uh, I have my cooler down in here, a nice little cooler bag I made. But for inshore fishing, I keep just lures and, and uh, pliers and stuff I need real handy right here. So yeah, it comes out, bilge pump, I don't know if you can see there's a battery box right there. You keep your battery off the, um, off the deck, shut that. All right, so in here, as you can see, Jackson teamed up with a GoPro, and they they got a little screw hole here. You can this came with it. You can mount your GoPro right on there. Um, usually, I got my GoPro mounted to the back on my action hat or on this uh, other Yak Attack reel right here. So I got a GoPro on this side, and then this side Yak Attack also makes a transducer arm. I made a video about that too, so I just got it right here, coming off off to the side. Um, so then moving back up, we got the front hatch, and this also kind of gives you an idea that this, this boat was made as an offshore boat, because you got a, this neoprene cover in here, so the boat was made for punching through the surf, you get water up here, it's going to have a, a lot harder time, it's not waterproof, but it'll have a lot more difficulty getting inside. Side of the boat there's that battery box i was talking to you about so, yeah put that back on sturdy sturdy carrying handle and i've never had to use this i never get water inside my All boat right, guys there's the uh, jackson kraken for you it's an awesome boat wouldn't fish out of anything else um, if you have any questions if i miss something or you want to know something a little more in depth leave a comment below and i'll get back to you on that uh, if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe. I got uh, many more videos coming up this summer. So I'll see y'all out on the water.